It's Wednesday the 14th. We're on a species count a research expedition because of Fukushima's nuclear meltdowns. I just want you to hear the silence. No birds whatsoever, no chirping. Woke up at daylight, just before daylight, no singing. Surreal, isn't it? It was flat calm until uh, about noon. Flat calm being there was no ripples. There was no fish jumping. Some insects, uh, a couple of species of mosquitoes, one I'm not quite familiar with. I have no problem though, unfortunately. I um, seen a wasp yesterday in a mud puddle. We had a ridiculous amount of uh, water left over from the tail end of the hurricane. We're on the east coast of Canada. We get the tail end of all the Atlantic hurricanes. Not a chirp. Nothing. Zero, zero sounds. Whenever you see uh, trees right above the water, like that, should be full of spider webs to catch the insects that live along the, the shoreline, right? There's no spider webs. Yesterday was a great day, it wasn't as much sunshine, which makes it easier to spot them, right? I'm just absolutely shocked. Remember the last couple of years out here, we might not see the birds, but we would hear them singing most times. Not many, very right? one or two. It's usually the same species, but we recorded it and played it, right? This year there's no sound at all. No matter where I stopped, I never heard a sound. And so that's just spooky. We'll take the segue. You got 2,500 kilometers on that baby. She's been to Alaska multiple times on the sailboat, on research expeditions. So let's go this way. We're looking for insects, spider webs, birds. I seen a rabbit yesterday, but it was a. Again, you see anything, it's usually cr close to communities or, or um, big campsites with um, you know, cabins on them. There's quite a few along this trail. We traveled 100 kilometers on the trip so far, off road that is. And uh, oops. I just want to get up here. There's another pond on each side of the road up here. The trail's a little thin for the segue. But hey, there's a lot of boulders. I'm going to send a drone out you know, uh, around supper time when the wind drops out. You see the wind drops out when the sun goes down, right? Or starts to go down. It's the butterflies, two of them.
just wanted to give everybody an update from from the dead zone from the nuclear wasteland the entire academic community should be freaking out and they're, they're quieter than the birds how can you be an academic and sit in silence in silence how does that work how do you look at kids in the face how does that work I can look everybody in the face in the eyes Sorry about the wind. There's nothing up here whatsoever. Let's keep going up the road here. I'm just doing this part for I'm gonna post this video. I haven't got a great single here, but uh I got the booster, I'll break out the booster, fire up the generator and uh, upload the video. I'm going to stop for you here and turn the video off. Uh, but I just want to scare out this couple of little uh, same mosquitoes we've seen on my site, they look black. They won't stop long enough to get a picture of them. This would have been a nice campsite, but uh, the other one obviously is better. I stand up in the shade here, it's actually... I want to listen for birds. Some mosquitoes, you expect that after heavy rain, right? No predators. So there should be a lot more insects because there's no predators. I seen some slugs this morning and last night. Um, it's another butterfly. a few insects not overwhelming or anything but it's just, at least there's some but again there's no predators we just came off multiple days of rain from a hurricane that shot over this peninsula because this is a pretty thin peninsula right it was foggy this morning there was something falling last night but it wasn't rain And I put a uh, steel plate out, it didn't collect any moisture. I'll come back to the pond here and we'll stop the video because that's probably a long video to upload, right? And um, I don't care how long it takes, obviously. No traffic since yesterday, past here. Stunningly beautiful, deadly quiet. Way to go, Fukushima. Way to go, nuclear power plants. And you knew this was going to happen. That's what cracks me up. There's zero possibility the nuclear industry didn't know this was going to happen. And now they're just screeching, saying it's going to be the savior. It will be the savior. When the world wakes up, there'll be no saving you. Anyway, we'll update you from hell on the next video. Take care.